This is Uma for Box Nation. I'm joined by Nathaniel Collins, who's a bit late to the presser, just got off the flight, and you've just told me a really remarkable story, actually. Go on, tell them. Yeah, I shared a, shared a taxi with my opponent on the way over here. Uh, we just found out there, so <laughs> that's how we both were in here. Did he speak any English? or? Don't, nah, he never spoke any English. He just kind of was head down and then gave me a wee handshake, so... Can you speak any Italian? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> well, it's, uh, yeah, so... Good chance this Saturday to showcase your skills. Are you expecting a tough fight on Saturday, though, Nathaniel? Yeah, absolutely. Um, on paper, he's, he's probably my toughest opponent yet. He's beat the likes of Bellotti and, and Ken Baker and a few British guys. and So he's, he's up for it. Um, but, mate, my preparation this time has been really, really, really second to none. So the best me is coming on, on Saturday night. You know. Well, we saw what you did to Raza Hamza, which, you know, on paper, again, was considered a, a decent fight for yourself. Absolutely. Um, so maybe a, another early Nathaniel Collins sloppage. Hopefully. Um, I'll, I'll be coming for it. Um, this time, you know, excitement sells and it's nothing but knockouts coming forward. So um, I'll be there, I'll be putting the pressure on and we'll see how he handles it. Nathaniel, just away from this, let me ask you what happened with situation with uh, Saudi Arabia and, and Hopi Price, we know he got injured but was that basically done, you and Hopi? No, I, I'd never heard anything about it, um, me and Hopi was, was meant to fight for the mandatory for the British, um, that was my last defence obviously Hopi's injured and hopefully he makes a quick recovery um, but there was never talks about this, the Saudi stuff as, as far as I'm aware anyway mm. But, I mean, that would make sense for a 5v5 card. We know there's going to be one at Wembley Stadium under the Riyadh season banner. I think you and Hopi Price are a fantastic fight. And, again, that's Queensbury v Matram Aye. itself. Absolutely. I'd love, to, I'd love that to happen. Um, September is the date that, as far as I'm aware, that's meant to be. Hopi's back in training. I've seen him. So, hopefully he's ready for September. We can get it on. What a brilliant time to, to join Queensbury as well with everything that's going on in boxing. I mean, unprecedented stuff, what's been happening. So what a time to sign with these guys as well. For sure. Um, this, the Saudi stuff happening is brilliant, but it's also making ways for shows like this um, to yeah. happen because the bigger stuff's going on overseas. Loads of domestic fights, good good matchups happening here. So it's, it's a brilliant time to be a part of it. What's the deal with Masood Abdullah? I, mate, I don't know. So... I seen something today I was tagged in that was this purse bids or something for the Commonwealth. Um, I found out last week that they made him mandatory for the Commonwealth, which was never a thing. Um, I've been Commonwealth champion for two years. It's not something I'm bothered about. I want to win the European. I want to move on to world level. So it, he's behind me. And the same way I was behind Nick Ball. And Nick Ball's on his world title shots. That's how it is. Um, and that's how the game goes. i seen them put up about purse bids. Um, I don't know how you can have a first bid for a fight when we both are signed with Queensbury. And, mate, he was offered this fight for this this show, so... Um, what, you, you guys made an offer to him for this, yeah? So Queensbury I, made an offer, yeah? I, I don't know if Queensbury, but we were looking for a punt for this show. The options were Masood Abdullah. This guy came out of nowhere. Um, so the, the fight was offered, meant to be a done deal for this, so... Oh. I didn't, know, I didn't know that, to be fair. I don't, I don't think many people actually know that. But. Nah, they, they won't, mate, but I don't shout about stuff. I'm not there to make... I'm here to win this title, move on to the European, move on to World Honours. That's the game plan. If Hopi Price is in the middle of that in the 5v5 in September, then we can crack on. Because I guess the mantra that's been pushed from Masood's guys, etc., is that you're avoiding the fight with him. That's what they're saying. Yeah. But why would I fight someday with lesser fights... Lesser profile, lesser money for the Commonwealth. It's not as if he's mandatory for the British. Hopi Price is mandatory for the British. We asked the board this for this fight. Can Hopi step aside and we'll fight whoever they put up for it? Um, a new mandatory. And the board said no, Hopi Price, Hopi Price has got a medical exemption. So that is what it is. I'm not going to fight somebody for no reason. If they wanted to offer me a bit of money, that's different. If they wanted to offer me a better title, there was no going to be any international titles on the line, there was going to be nothing if it was for the Commonwealth. I'm moving on to bigger things. Got you. All right, well, listen, Nathaniel, best of luck this Saturday. Uh, I still find it bizarre that you shared a, a taxi with the, the Mental, opponent from, from, from the Mental. airport. That is very strange. <laughs> but this is boxing and it's a strange world. Best of luck this Saturday and we'll speak Thank soon. Thank you, mate. Cheers. God bless.